but okay um, but I actually I think the original three ideologies I think in the base game should be uh, made more distinct you know I think there's a lot you could do with that already um, that hasn't been exploited before adding you know tons of uh, new ideologies and I also think that the ideology should really be separated from the government type because I also, there's also a lot of requests for being able to go neutral and I don't think that makes any sense really like you know I can imagine a communist government or a fascist government or democratic government but what does a neutral government type do you know what I mean like it doesn't have uh, doesn't have anything in particular um, doesn't mean anything could be anything you know um, and so I think that should really be uh, made distinct in the base game well it would, ha it would have to be like an engine an engine change or logic addition to do that but um, you know really the ideology support is like what what side you're leaning to in the war and your governmental type is, is something entirely separate um, so I don't plan to add ideologies um, for that reason let's go down one of these I think So I'd like to just make each of the three ideologies more interesting. Uh, like one thing I have planned for the future that I tried to do for this version, but I ended up focusing on the AI um, was damn, they're gonna go fascist pretty quick. Um, was to um, allow you to choose the type of communism that you uh, want to follow. When you, when you turn communist as a country uh, and then that would give you a whole series of like separate event paths and that kind of thing whether you wanted to spread communism throughout the world or whether you think it should be uh, centralized in your country and you need to strengthen the state oh they turned into civil war okay uh, and that kind of thing uh, I haven't done that yet but that would be uh, something I want to work on maybe for the next uh, few versions or whatever and uh, hopefully make the communists interesting to play. And then, uh, as the Democrats have also had some ideas for like uh, pop-ups about you know debates and in Parliament and that kind of thing, and you get to choose like what you support, and you know you could get more of a, a feel of uh, of a democratic uh, country and that kind of thing. So there's plenty that could be done here. Oh my, my beautiful front has been split in two. With one, one guy left to defend all this. That's great. So, I mean, I kind of... What are they getting spot from Hungary? Interesting. Oh no, land lease is there. Okay. Oh no. Iraq is what? Wait. Did I lose my justification? <laughs> really? I didn't know that happened. It's gotta be a bug, right? Seriously? Oh man. Okay, let's turn this off, maybe. For now. I can do partial mobilization. Should have waited for that, probably. But, uh, let's get another research bonus. Actually, the two communist research bonus. That's. But I probably should change that. Okay, so I lost my war justification. And now it's uncertain who's going to win. Maybe I'll do... Ah, oh shit, now it's over 25%, so the Allies... I mean, they might not because they're fascist. Although I don't, I don't know if I really want to fight in Afghanistan because it's... Uh, hell. Let's, let's try. Let's see what happens. And they probably don't have too much 
Oh, they have six uh, unlocked. So they, well, I guess they're going down focus trees, right? So they may have uh, developed some of this already for me to capture. That really sucks. I should have kept my uh, walk. I suppose it wouldn't know which side to keep it on necessarily, but. Death to fascists. Well, I didn't I didn't say that. It's a bit strong. Oh man, what are they doing? Going fascist? They do seem to go fascist a lot. Maybe it's because they're next to the UK. And there, there are some conditions like uh countries uh like to go fascist if they're next to uh, communists and communists if they're next to fascists and that kind of thing. So there's some kind of suggestion. So it's not entirely random necessarily. Yeah. Yemen is going uh, democratic, or they have gone democratic. Well, Liberia, there. Yeah. Not sure. And South Africa is going to flip. And they're supporting the fascists. So this is something I've tried to um, sort of plug into their ideology uh, selection thing that I added. So that they should go down the right focus tree as well. So it all kind of comes together neatly. What's going on in South America? Brazil is going democratic by the looks of it. They don't start off like this, do they? So, yeah, obviously not. Uruguay, okay, so you've gone fascist. Argentina is looks like they're staying kind of neutral-ish, but they're going democratic. Slowly. Chile is going communist. I like that. You could be my friends. Peru, I think, starts fascist. Ecuador is going fascist. Holy cow. Colombia has gone fascist. And Venezuela is fascist. So we've got a whole load of uh, fascist uh, countries here. Falanges, Bolivia. Oh man, they've gone. So that's a lot of Axis potential support in South America here. With Brazil probably joining the... Well, whether they join the Allies, it's a different matter, but they're going... Um, democratic. And we have fascist down here, don't we? So, holy cow. So, we'll have a couple... This is... That's That could be interesting, man. I mean, the fascists look like they've got the edge here in numbers, but... Um, although considering this, there are these colonies here, territories that are also democratic, they could be, you know, if Brazil did join the Allies or something, um, could be a nice three-way uh, thing here. Cuba, let's have a look at you, you're going... Well, it looks like you're sort of staying democratic. I guess they've gone... chosen neutral, which means they kind of uh, pick anyone, but... Uh, uh, and oh, Haiti, the third empire of Haiti. They've gone fascist. Interesting. Nicaragua doesn't know where it wants to go. And Mexico, democratic by the looks of it. Yes, a little bit of fascism there. Huh. Maybe they're going fascist. Interesting. So with historical focus off, uh, and I haven't picked anything for a long time, which is really bad. I want to research. Um, yeah, with historical focus off, all of the majors basically stick to their ideology, except for the US. I've allowed some the chance that they'll, they'll drift away because uh, they might not join the war and that kind of thing. Um, and France also has a possibility of going in another direction. But it looks like they're staying democratic here. They will most likely favour democratic, so most of your games will be, you know, normal. But uh, it's. Uh, it also can make it super interesting if they go in a different direction. They haven't been guaranteed, have they? 
not yet, because they're just fascists, so nobody cares. Wow, this civil war is brutal. Himalayan Empire. Okay. Okay. Tibet, what are you doing? Communists, maybe. Bhutan, ooh, maybe communists too. We want that, was it Red Dragon Empire or something like that? We want those guys. And Tibet. So that this could be a, a, a healthy load of uh, communism around here. There's Japan, that's pretty early, kind of. Um, wait, have they formed the United Front? I guess they have. Uh, yeah, so... Hmm, Japan's not doing brilliantly well just yet, but I guess when they have the coast like this, it's, uh, they generally do okay. Siam. Communist Siam. Green eggs and ham. I love it. So that'll be, that'll, they'll be strategically very useful if we go to war with the Allies. Thank you for my extra political power. I'm gonna change... Am I gonna change? Or should I wait till I go to war? Although I also need world, world tension to be high, because I've changed a few of these requirements a little bit. Um, so hopefully there's slightly more um, of a progression that you take, rather than just kind of waiting for a war and then you can you know, switch straight to war economy. It's you know, a bit easy. Um, maybe military stuff. Theorists. Let's go theorist. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, I don't know, because I'm probably not going to get that much political power before I end up... Uh... Whoa, was that? No, it wasn't. It was just that bug which displays the wrong flag. I was, I was thinking there were uh, German soldiers in the, in the war, but there aren't. So how many do you have? You have three, five to six. Oh, okay. So they pushed, but they're not going to survive, probably. Well, I'm going to delete this, I guess. Let's go over here. Somehow I think this is a mistake because I'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna get bogged down. Like this is this isn't fun right here. This doesn't look like fun. Although neither does Iran. But, uh, all of its mountains. Let's get some research. I mean, I guess I can always ask ask the Soviets to join. One thing I would quite like is, is is if I could make the AI, like the mages, stay out of minor wars a little longer, because it's it's very easy for you to just like turn a minor thing into a, into World War Two, and it's like over something really bizarre. So maybe I'll look at, try and look into what uh, affects that kind of thing in future. Um, because I'm probably they'll get invited to the Axis, and that'll be World War Two right here. But uh, hopefully not. But then you know, there's also kind of it's con constantly a a thing we have to balance. You know, like remembering that this is supposed to be World War Two. You know, and so. And it is modern times, so you know, would would people not get involved necessarily? Like, there's a there's a strange um, balance between sort of fun and being able to kind of just play in the sandbox and uh, and remembering the time scale and and the time period and that kind of thing. There's some fascist support, not from here though. Have they gone? Oh yeah, they already went down. Go with Britain, right? I've tried to make it so that they. Hang on, let's look at their ideas. Oh, cool. Is that right? Yeah, they've already got rid of disjointed government. Have they done this already? I guess they did. 
cool. I mean, I tried to balance it actually recently so that they would always, you know, or, or more likely choose to go towards um, getting rid of disjointed government because previously the AI just like uh, did it almost at the last thing they would ever do, and it doesn't. That didn't make any sense, you know. As a player, at least, at least you always try to. Uh, what? Well, historical. Oh, it's off, and they rejected. <laughs> okay. Because it's off, they rejected the um, Angelus. That's. There you go. I've seen that happen in multiplayer, and that's never. Uh, German player is never happy about that. Even though they were going fascist as well, which is funny. But I guess that doesn't. Oh no, they're going conservative, but they have a lot of fascist support. Um, Cool. Well, there you go. That's the thing that happens. Which, why not? I mean, I, I'd like to see some games where Austria actually manages to win. <laughs> but because they're just—they're a country that is, you know, destined to be temporary in this game, and that's uh, that's tragic. Excuse me while I have a drink. Mm. Cold tea. It's always nice. It's not iced tea, it's just a room temperature tea. Okay, I'm really interested in uh, South America now, Paraguay, they're like fully communist. Although they start that way, I think. But, uh, Chile, come on, Chile, you can flip. Flipping out. Going. See in red. Yay for research. Let's do me some land doctrine bonuses, maybe. What else? Do I have this? 38? I can do that. Probably should. Just might give me an edge over the Afghans. Mexico. <clears throat> I love it. Guatemala, there's all these... I always forget that the UK has this. It's really bizarre. Austria was annexed. Hello you. Let's declare war now. And let's hope that uh, it doesn't turn into World War II. I'm actually losing. Yes, send me some volunteers. I desperately need it. Oh, I can! Oh God, I can train loads of troops. I haven't been paying attention because I've been uh, looking and talking. Can't do both at once. But I can train some more troops. Let's do it. So my uh, division should be bigger, which I don't know might not help with tr with the uh, attrition. Iraq was annexed. Okay, so we have fascist Iraq. Shall I justify? Yes, let's do it. 200 days, hopefully don't, they don't join the Axis. But they do have this, which means they're more likely to, to do that. War of Aggression. Yeah. So this is one of the new events. Whoa, okay. Stop. The Bohemian Empire. Well, hello. <laughs> Czechoslovakia. <laughs> fuck, fuck it. Let's just join them. Can't beat them, join them. Wow. Okay. I've never actually seen that happen, but it is possible. They do favour the democra uh, democracy. But uh, with historical mode on, off, I mean, there's a good chance that they... Uh, there's a chance that they will. Uh, yeah, so War of Aggression, this is a, one of the new events. There's a lot that happened during war. Uh, one of them is this. If you uh, attack someone, you get War of Aggression, which means you get a reduction in national unity. Uh, so I sort of added a bit of like a defender's advantage. They also get um, or war of defense as the opposite. Um, and there's also things like uh, protest, anti-war protesting. Um, unless you are like, I think it's something like seventy percent uh, fascist, then you don't get it. But uh, 
otherwise there's anti-war protests and you get a bunch of options there and uh, there's some like food shortage events and and things this is not going to go well is it where are the, where are the um where are the soviets down here thank you for th <laughs> cheers mate why would you send a cavalry unit Ser seriously couldn't you have spared a couple of tanks or something I bet there's loads on my border. I bet these are tanks facing me. Gotta be one. Well, at least he's got a truck here. Couldn't you just send that over? Cause that's what I need. Oh, uh, what am I doing? Let's, let's do it here. Um, I think just to def give me a little defense bonus. Like maybe it's helping here. I don't know. So here we go. Here's one of the. Um, one of the uh, anti-war protesting events. Uh, it says, "What was once a ragged band of feral-looking unpatriots has now grown into a serious demonstration. Our loyal press is largely ignoring them, but if it continues, harsher treatment and more drastic measures may be necessary to maintain any kind of public support." So I can ignore them and gain anti-war protests, uh, national spirit, which uh, reduces national unity over time, or I can spend some political power. Uh, just to lock them away and clear them up. Time in a cell may change their minds, or I can spend a hundred political power to gain anti-war protesters silenced, which gives me a recruitment population bonus. Um, because I'm basically rounding them up and sending them to the front lines, but that obviously costs me a lot. And so, what do I want to do here? Well, I'll keep I'll keep going. I'll speed three. Um, I mean, I kind of just want to spend temporary points on it. I guess. Uh, actually, I need troops. Let's do this. I'm gonna do this. So I get I gained. Uh, what was that? That was quite a lot, right? That seemed like a lot. <laughs> I was on like eighty thousand. So. So whatever that is, 70,000 or something. Extra people. So maybe I can burn through those <laughs> in the war. We'll see. And now I can do... Oh, I need world tension because I'm neutral. Yes, I do. Um, now let's do this. I need defense, maybe. Defense is good now, maybe. Oh no, one of these guys is better. This one. Yes. And oh you know, yeah, and, and choosing those options essentially was like the the first option um, meant that the situation would get worse if I just ignored them. If I cleared them off the streets, it would mean that the same event level would emerge later. And if I uh, silence the anti-war protesters, then they will that event will never return until the next time I'm at war potentially. Um, so that's one of the uh, one of the new war events. Um, oh no! Come on, seriously, this is terrible. This is really bad. I need my troops. Troops, give me some troops. Can I like request a land lease? Four. Oh my god! What do I want? Uh, give me some artillery. They won't accept. Why not? Seriously, we're both. Communist. Oh come on! You've got low. Well, maybe they don't have loads actually, because they do start with a big, a big deficit. Seriously, I'm gonna lose to Afghanistan. No, I'm not. But um, this is just gonna be a long and painful war. My my justification against Iraq is probably gonna finish before I can deal with this. Thirty nine January. Okay, so we've got until then. Well, so far I've lost half as many as they have, so... So... Seems fine to me. Political correctness, because I get loads of political power. Let's do it. I mean, if we just let them attack, they'll drain themselves out, right? They'll run out of stuff. Unless they're being sent, shit, they're not. Okay, and they're good. And see, they've already got war exhaustion because I've, uh, and I haven't, um, because uh, I've taken some of their provinces, and that means that they get like an increased chance of getting war exhaustion and that kind of thing. 
And war exhaustion is a new uh, feature, a new series of events when you're at war um, that, that uh, get increasingly worse. And uh, yeah, and there's food shortage as well, and there's options, there's stuff like that, there's events that uh, occur when you're at war, and I want, would like to add more of those. Some of them are quite uh, useful actually, um, such as uh, getting an influx of volunteers. Um, which is good when you're a minor nation because it gives you like I can't remember how many like 15,000 manpower or something boost and which is nothing when you're a major country but when you're a, a, a minor and you're sitting on 136,000 men it's pretty damn good so oh they're losing uh, bucket loads of people not to be uh, too, you know, crass about it, but uh, but there we are. Oh no, we have a deficit of nine. Seriously, have they like killed my fighters? What's happening? How am I losing fighters? Should I be? I should I be doing something? Maybe I should go onto their side now. I don't know. I'm not actually sure how this how the borders work, like. If my aircraft are here, I guess I don't defend with the aircraft, even though they're attacking from the province that my aircraft are in. I guess, which is kind of annoying. Like, I, it'd be good if the borders were sort of blurred, uh, you know, in terms of mechanics, so that if you have my aircraft here, they'll defend, they'll help defend this side still. Maybe I'm not sure if I don't know if it works that way or not. This is not good. Please attack, just to distract, doesn't it? Um, seriously, don't lose. It's embarrassing. Okay, what about if I have left? Ah, surely I can hold out. Ah, uh, I can wait. I can wait. Even if I lose the provinces, okay. The Kiwi Empire, there you are. Hello, Kiwi Empire. That guy is... All the Commonwealth uh, fascist leaders are really sinister. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Leave, leave the allies while you still can, please, because that would be cool to see. Oh no, fuck, they can't, because we I have, uh, I have the expansion, don't I? So they they have to earn their freedom, right? They can't actually leave now. Hmm. I forgot about that. Legally enforced rationing. Here's all the options. I can either spend some political power to get uh, rationing, or I can not do it. If I don't do it, which I haven't done it, um, there's a chance I may get food shortage events and that kind of thing. Um, or there's a greater chance. See, you need freedom as well. Freedom! What are you? You're a you need a lot of shit to get free so it's probably not going to happen before the war that's too bad oh I pushed in but I'm going to lose it oh no just before my reinforcements run good timing lads front span's communism so yeah we've made great progress um, in the war. Oh, I just pushed them out again, except the, the cavalry have arrived, literally. Wait a minute. Mine haven't. Thank you, volunteers. And I have literally um, like a few months to just to end this so I can go to war with Iraq. Uh, war is hard. God, you bastards. Taunting me. Look at all these trucks, all this equipment, laughing at my uh, pathetic uh, attempt at spreading the, uh, the the word. Still can't do war. Yeah, it's actually gone down a little bit because nothing's happened. Uh, I will choose labor programs. Because now I get a factory output boost, ten percent. No, five percent. What is it? 
5%.